Okay, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I want to focus the attention on the tow bar that I have on my i3 and make a bit of a demo uh, of how that one is working out. And right now you see that I don't have the, the, the towing ball on the car and that's because I have it over here. So we're going to put this one on and we're going to go for drive. And I'm going to show you what it looks like, what the energy consumption goes up to like. And we're going to do a range test pulling the teardrop camper. So I'm going to do a drive without the camper and then with the camper. And I'm going to compare the consumption. And if I have time, I'm going to do it at two different speeds just to show you which speed, how much the speed is uh, increasing the consumption. But um, long story short, uh, it works really well pulling with. Um, so we like that. So let's go for drive and take it from there. Oh, because I just got everything reset to zero and we're gonna do a drive about 57 kilometers long and this is without the teardrop camper behind so we're gonna see what the consumption and range would be without that one and then we're gonna compare that so we can see how many percent extra the uh, fuel consumption is with the teardrop camper so 57 kilometers that's what I'm gonna drive and after that we pick up the camper and do the same run again Okay, so I've just finished this one and the consumption was 129 watt hours per kilometer and that's really good actually, it's really really good without the teardrop camper behind. So now I'm gonna go pick up the camper and charge the car and from there we're gonna take it again. Okay, so I got the teardrop camper picked up now and just started, done about 7 kilometers and so far the consumption is um, um, rather high it's uh, 289 watt hours per kilometer so it's really high but it will drop down and it should drop down to about 220 230 but it could go lower we have to wait and see okay so i've just completed the first run with the teardrop camper and the consumption is actually really good the consumption is uh, 221 watt hours per kilometer so i'm really happy with that it's been going down a bit um, constantly and um, the more I drive, the more it seems to go down to a certain limit, of course. Um, but um, yeah, this is what the consumption looks like at 80 km per hour. Okay, so I'm doing a second test with the teardrop camper behind me. And in this test, I'm driving at 95 km per hour. So we're gonna see what the consumption looks like if one would be to keep this speed. Okay, so here it is the result from my towing test. So first of all, clarify, it's a 94 amp hour battery pack. I checked the available capacity and it shows that it has 30 kilowatt hours available. And the uh, caravan trailer that I'm towing weighs 550 kilo. So uh, I had a control test without trailer, 80 km per hour. And I got 129 watt hours per kilometer and 232 kilometers. So, if we compare that to with the trailer and the same speed, the consumption went up 71% and the range decreased by 42. So that means that the consumption went up to 221 watt hours per kilometer and range decreased to 135. So 135 kilometer is not that far. And with the trailer and 95 kilometer per hour, it's a bit interesting here. Because we see that the consumption went up by almost 100% and the range decreased by almost 100 percent so it's like half so 259 watt hours per kilometer and 115 kilometers of range so yeah that's really interesting double and half basically so yeah. anyway guys i hope you liked this video and if you did give it a thumbs up 